Right. Got it. I think you good. All right, everybody. I've done a beaver skin video before. I ain't necessarily show people how to skin a beaver though. So we're gonna do that today. Uh, this one we caught out of the trapping video, if y'all ain't seen it. Obviously, this is getting big monetized, so y'all just enjoy it for what it is and let's go on with it. All right, the first things I like to do, and oh, by the way, Garrett ran him over. Like, it took him out. We was all proud of him. He's taking pictures of him and everything, and he backed the boat up. He's like, go get the beaver. I'm like, yeah, go get that beaver. Go up there. I'm like, man, he sure just sling a lot of gravel up in this, this area <laughs> right here. And I got looking, it was just the right way for the tar. <laughs> so, I don't know, you know, if he'd have killed it with a vehicle, it would have been roadkill. So I guess road mutilation. Okay, so this is a trapped road mutilated beaver. Facts. So here we go. So the first thing I like to do besides discredit everything <laughs> people done and killed it in the wrong way is you're trying to make a straight line from the tip of that, from right between them two front teeth. Oh my God, you run over, you, oh, you run over his head too, bud. Dang. You may not get a skull off this one. Yeah, it is what it Definitely is. Definitely broke that jaw. But anyways, on a normal beaver, you would go, there'd be this perfect little center line right here. And I just take it and pet all this fur back like this. And then taking that in the back of that knife, and get in the center of that tail, go right in the middle of the vent, go over it, and just make me a line right up in the center of that beaver. Just like so. And that gives me a line to cut because when you're pulling and moving this fur back forth you'll get off center if you ain't careful so come back here just like that make a cut can you see it pretty good and you bend it down it's going to take out care of that tail there's the tail off just like that so next you're just going to get a good sharp knife and just going to go right up center and just give this vent some room Cause you will hit them castor glands if you ain't careful. So I don't, I don't mind wasting a little fur right there. All right, now I got around that side. I'm gonna get around this side. Just getting under the skin. Do not get in them castors. You will regret it. There we go. You can see the castor glands right in here. Didn't didn't fool with the thing. Just leave it alone. It ain't worth that little bit of fur. Beaver fur ain't worth nothing, no how no more. So, sad as that is, just go right up center here. Even if you feel broke bones and everything, just keep cutting. <laughs> just like so. Got the tail out the way. I gotta take his arms off. Use back that knife, feel that. Give it a twist. Leg comes off, get on the other one. Same thing. <clears throat> Back legs, I like to cut behind this tendon first. And then you just nick it right under and it'll open right up. Give it a twist. Take it right off. Same thing over here. Get it right behind it. Roll it across the top where that joint is. Use back a knife as much as possible. I ain't skinned a beaver in like two years, so bear with me, everybody. <laughs> now it's just a matter of skinning out one side and then the other. No, it's a touch bloody, but just bear with me. Some people clean skin. I am not one of those guys. I'm just worried about getting this meat off here or get this hide off here. Which, we're probably going to be saving the meat off this one too, so stay tuned. <clears throat> that first run kind of sucks. That ain't no big deal, you just keep on cutting in. See how that just rolls off there? There is a daggum artery up in there, his head, and you can kind of see it right there. It's that little blood vessel. If you hit that, it'll get blood all over everything. It's going to be super bloody then. So you try to avoid that if you can. It's right there, right under the jaw on either side. Just got to remember where it's at. So, anyways, just going to avoid that and keep on cutting.
All right, and you're eventually gonna get down here, get to the end of the leg, just keep nicking, and pop that leg out. Get up under it, keep on skinning them out. Notice I'm keeping it high tight, and that just makes life a lot simpler. And that's about half a beaver skin out. <laughs> so, fixing it pretty readily here, move over to that next side and just repeat the process. I'm already missing having a high level table. This little stayed hunched over like this sucks. <laughs> and those of y'all that's ever tried to do this at home fully understand that. Also didn't hit the already on this side neither. Although the tower did. <laughs> <laughs> that leg popped out. Okay. Now we're at this point. Now now it's time for a bit of a gut job on him. Get that going.
beavers are built kind of weird because they got a real little rib cage because you think of this much body mass them ribs come up out here like a deer would but they really like there's a liver and the stomachs in front of that so they've only got this much of a vital area them ribs stop right here and that's a very small area compared to everything else <coughs> but it is what it is so reach in there split that rib cage open just like on a deer there's his insides <coughs> on this side we're gonna go ahead and try to take care of these little castor glands everybody's got their own way of doing this mine is probably not the best way but you can feel them they kind of got like a mush to them pretty sure I didn't put a hole in but that's okay too <laughs> they'll still catch something hopefully some people just get in there and roll them out I never could do that I just I just got to dry them off with a little bit extra meat on them because there it is right there <laughs> and there's the caster so, yep, screwed the pooch on that one. Excuse me there. <laughs> so, we're probably going to cut that out. <laughs> you smell that gland? Yeah. 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 So, that's a cancer gland, everybody. We're going to try to <laughs> avoid that. <laughs> but that'll catch a beaver. Okay, now we're done that. Just back to normal butchering stuff now. I definitely cut the castle gland out in years. Just ring that. I leave that hip together personally. But now, grab that windpipe, come around here, give it a cut, just start coming back. That's just kind of like normal gutting. you get off a deer but it's not far from it <laughs> now I'm gonna move this out the way all that fur is falling away from the meat and that's kind of what you're looking for and that's just a matter of pulling it down let gravity help you for once and just start cutting it off there ain't much pulling on a beaver hide you don't get to do that much at all so just get your knife ready get your patience on and good luck it's real tight around the hip area always has been for me anyhow
the ends get past that hip area, just about normal then. Not like anything else. Let's see what kind of pulling we can do. I don't think it's gonna be much, but we'll see. There you go. So there's your beaver hide. Both ears, eye holes. A few extra holes I shouldn't have put in there, but that's okay. I am. <laughs> Lower him down. Let me see how his skull feels. He might have got lucky. It's crushed a little bit right there in the back. What do you think? You want to hang on to it or? Nah. Okay. <laughs> oh, he's got to go either way. I try not to make a habit of running over the animals after I killed them, but <laughs> it is what it is. Yeah, fair enough. My defense, I was pretty excited about for my first beaver. <laughs> well, we still got him either way. Mm -hmm. Now we're just going to hang him for a couple days, and that's how you clean a beaver. Now he started out, I think 38 pounds, but they're mostly guts. People don't realize that, but you can see just how flat that got just that quick. Like I said, on average, we, we cleaned a bunch back in the day, and we averaged, I think, right around seven pounds off of a beaver. Some of them got upwards of 15 pounds, some of them only got like two or three. So it's going to, you know, and not all of them's created equal. Special ones have been run over. But either way, <laughs> he's smiling behind the camera. Y'all just bear with it. Now. That's facts. But anyways, we're just gonna hang this for a couple days and uh we'll get we'll be see y'all then. Just hit this button? Yeah.